Warning, although this video contains action figure reviews, it is intended for the adult collector and may contain some lowbrow humor. Viewer discretion is advised. This is Stuff and Things. This is Stuff and Things. Thunderbird. Greetings and salutations, my fellow Stuffketeers. Goldie coming at you with another Stuff and Things review. And today we're looking at something that uh, is a Target exclusive. And uh, I'm just going to drop my two cents real quick here, guys. I'm not a big exclusive guy, man. I really like just being able to pick up the phone and call my local comic shop or my local collectible store and say, hey, I want this. And they say, okay. The hustle and bustle running around to find stuff, 22 years into collecting, just it's it's wore thin on me. And the fact that they make these collectibles exclusives to these stores really just hurts your local comic shop and really just hurts your local collectible store because then they're buying them at retail on the shelves and have to charge more on the secondary market. So that hurts everybody in turn. So... Hasbro, if you're listening, man, just make everything available to everybody. Come on, man. It's ridiculous by this time. But, guys, of course, we're going to be looking at the Target exclusive two-pack of Storm and Thunderbird. The Storm is absolutely fantastic. The Thunderbird, we'll get into that in a minute. First, let's uh, go ahead and take care of these logistics first, guys. Storm and Thunderbird are packaged in a really nice box. It's got great artwork of both Storm and Thunderbird. There's a little, little shot of Thunderbird there. And it's an open window box, so you can see what's going on. Everything has been, of course, removed, so... And there's the little picture of Storm. But this is the Storm we have all been waiting for. The Storm we want. Storm, of course, comes with a ton of accessories. She comes with a real nice head sculpt with the flowy, wavy hair. The eyes are whited out. She's got kind of a grimace on her face. It's a really well done sculpt, besides the fact that mine seems to have the thing glued off to the side a little bit. But nonetheless, it's a you know, natural Hasbro mistake, so I moved on with my life. I didn't cry about it. But I love the flowing hair sculpt. It looks really, really good. And here's just her hair is kind of down and big and bouffant in the 70s. But again, a great sculpt on the face. It looks awesome. I mean, it is totally classic 70s Storm. I love it. Now, she comes with a big open kind of flowing cape. They didn't go with cloth cape, which was kind of interesting. But these hard kind of plasticky rubber capes that uh, she came with work. They look great. I mean, when it's on, it looks good. Of course, there's the low flowing cape, which is her, you know, just I'm um, resting and not storming it up. Not causing a big old lightning storm, but uh, then, of course, she comes with some lightning hands, which are pretty decent. They're a little, the fingers look a little funky, but I like the color of the lightning. It really pops in the light, man. It really, really does. And uh, they, they did a decent job. Now, of course, she comes with, like, the casting hands that most Marvel Legends females already have built on stock. There they are. But she does come with some fists, which is really cool, man, so she could punch some bad guys. Punch some bad guys. Now, let's take a look at Thunderbird's accessories real quick here. Take a look at them. Hold on. Here. There they are. He came with nothing. He could have at least came with some closed fists, man. That would have been a little bit better. Now, Storm comes in at a little bit over six inches because the big bouffant here, as does Thunderbird because he's a bigger body. But, uh, you know, good, uh, nice 360-degree look here at Storm. It's a really... Well done figure, and again, the storm that we've all been waiting for. Now, we did get this a while back in Marvel Select form, but this one is just, now it's Marvel Legends scale, and it fits in. And now here's a good look at Thunderbird. He's okay. It's kind of underwhelming. I think they, they could have used a different buck. The head looks a little big. He looks a little derpy, but, you know, we have Thunderbird to be happy with. And uh, now let's go ahead and take a look at them side by side. And here they are. They look pretty decent. I like the Storm again. The Storm is fantastic. Thunderbird is kind of eh. 
You know, I really, again, think they could have used a different buck. I think it looks a little off. I don't like the Captain America body mold. The little fringe things kind of get in the way of the articulation. They kind of can't put the arm all the way down, which can be a little annoying. Um, the paint scale, I, yeah, no closed fists, man. I mean, I don't understand this. I don't understand it at all. I mean, Hasbro's just churning out sometimes okay stuff. Now, here, let me show you what I think should have been. What wasn't? Give me a second here, guys. Give me a second. Just another second. And there. That looks a thousand times better. The head fits that buck so much better. This is what we should have gotten. Because if you take a look at the character in the comics, John Proudstar is a much larger buck than the one they've provided for us. So... Kind of meh, kind of let down by that. And it's not that I don't have love for the character. I don't have love for Hasbro's version of the character is what I'm trying to get at here. And for being an exclusive two-pack, to have to get this guy in order to get the Storm is kind of a huge letdown. It's kind of like, why would you do that, Hasbro? Now let's take, oh man, I dropped him. Let's take a good look at Storm here. She's, uh, she's not bad. There is a little paint mistake here where the cuff doesn't meet all the way. There's a little brown in between there, but eh, black Sharpie, we could take care of that. Not the biggest problem, but uh, again, I think she looks great, and it's the storm we've all been waiting for, that classic 70s storm where we could almost assemble that entire 70s team, which makes me extremely happy. It is now time for an X2 articulation breakdown! Yeah! <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at Stormer. Storm is articulated as such. She does have the new pinless technology, which is really cool. There's no pins, so the, uh, the black leather just kind of looks really smooth and, you know, nice. But... The knee doesn't bend to where I would like it to. The double jointed knees and the foot not having a boot cut looks kind of funky when you pose her certain ways. It does have the rocker and the swivel and she does have the thigh cut. The legs can split about this much, which is, you know, decent for a female figure. Not a full split, but not a terrible split. No waist cut, but she does have the diaphragm cut, which works decently. The cape can get in the way, guys. The cape can get in the way, but uh, she gets forward. She gets back, and that's about it, unfortunately. The arms are on the swivel and the uh, peg, so they can swivel up and down. They can move. They can rock. They can do whatever. The elbow joints a lot of people have complained about, and I don't think they're that ugly. It doesn't bother me. It gives it a really nice range of motion. So it gets more than 90 degrees, which makes me happy for a female Marvel legend. The hand, of course, is on the rocker and the spinner Rooney. Head's on a ball joint and a swivel and can look up. It can look down. It can spin. It can do its thing. Storm is articulated really well. Thunderbird is on that Captain America buck, or the larger buck, the Namor buck, the mid buck, I like to call it. Knees could bend like about here. He does have the uh, thigh cut. He does have the boot cut, which is nice, you know. The fringe doesn't really get in the way too much. It does slide up and down, though, guys. Be careful. Foot's on a rocker and a uh, peg, so or a swivel. He does have the waist spin. He's got the ab crunch and rooney, so he can get forward a little bit. He can get back a little bit. And that's it. His arms can uh, go up and down. They are on the swivel and ball joint, so they can spin and swivel. They can get you about this range of motion. He does have a bicep cut. It can, the little fringy things on mine gets in the way, and it's got a little, like, you know, eh. The double-jointed elbows work good enough again this buck just doesn't work man it just oh we needed a bigger buck for this figure again hands on a uh, swivel and pivot heads on a pivot and a ball joint could spin all the way around we could linda blair this thing and that my friends is thunderbird again oh no storm's drunk again up oh, there she is but uh thunderbird is really underwhelming and the fact that we have to Get him an underwhelming figure with a great figure in a two-pack. is kind of a giant kick to the nuts. So I'm going to give Storm a thumb up, and I'm going to give Thunderbird a thumb down. Due to the fact that he's just not great. He could have been much better. Hasbro, you could have done better. Could have done better. I got my figures at Mr. Wayne's. 
That's where I got them. I don't buy exclusives from stores because I like to support the little guy. I like sending Mike a text and being told, I got your stuff, which is awesome. Again, these figures were decent. Not the best, not the worst. This has been your boy Goldie for Stuff and Things. More reviews coming, and I will see you soon. For all my wacky Stuff and Things misadventures, be sure to follow Stuff and Things with Goldie on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Stop it!